guys, uh, my name is Catherine and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, this cutie right here, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the size MN uh, with a monogram canvas. This is your first video from my channel. Welcome, uh, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like this kind of videos, uh, please also give it a thumbs up and I'll go ahead and get started. So I do have quite a bit of stuff that I wanna walk through. This is everything that I listed. I wrote it out so I don't forget to talk about this bag. Uh, when I was researching for this bag, I realized that I had to watch so many different videos because not one video was comprehensive enough. Um, this bag currently retails for $1,320, so it's a bit of a money. So I didn't understand why there wasn't a really good review that talked about ins and outs of this bag. So that's what I'm going to do today. All right, so let's see. First things first, as I mentioned, the price is now $1,320. Um, I did purchase this earlier this year, right after the price increase, um, and I believe the price increase was for $70. So before the price increase, I believe it was $1,250. Ordered this on the website. Um, it's not that hard to get a hold of it on the website, but if you do purchase it through a boutique inside a department store like Neiman Marcus or Saks Fifth Avenue, if you have in-store cash bag uh, with a card that's linked to your Ebates account. It is also possible that you get some cash bag, uh, which is what I did with my pochette accessoire. That really helps with the luxury purchase because it is not inexpensive. So I just wanted to go ahead and mention that in case you guys are looking to purchase this in-store. Also, another thing that um, a bunch of other people are doing, if when you purchase this bag, it comes with a little pochette here. Um, a lot of people don't find a use for this, although I clearly stuffed it. Um, they sell this for, I believe, somewhere between $300 and $400. So you can get some money back if you don't find a use for this pochette specifically. So that kind of brings the cost of just the bag itself down to $1,000, uh, maybe $1,100. So that's certainly an option uh, for you if you choose to do that. So talking about this bag, uh, this is not my first Louis Vuitton bag. Um, I had my first Louis Vuitton bag a couple years ago and that was my favorite MM, which I no longer own. Uh, but when I first was trying to buy a bag for myself, this was the bag that I wanted to buy. However, when I walked into the boutique to try it out, uh, I just didn't really like how it looked. The canvas was really stiff. I just didn't like how it looked on myself. So it took me three years to convince myself that I needed this bag and then when I buy it, I'm gonna use it well. Um, I'm that kind of a person uh, who really thinks about whether there's a practical day-to-day -day use for a luxury good if I'm about to spend thousands of dollars on it. So it did take some time, but I came around and after I fell in love with this bag after I purchased it, not before I bought it, which is really the opposite way of how it normally goes. So um, now I'm really glad that I own this bag. Um, mine is in the monogram canvas with the red interior. It is a little bit stuffed, so I can show you guys what fits in here for now. Um, let's see. So I've stuffed it halfway and this is normally what I would carry uh, during the winter time. So um, I have in here, I'll walk through each item now. I have my scarf. Uh, I usually carry it in my big purse if I carry a big purse during winter time. I have my six string key holder. I have my mini agenda. I have my bigger wallet. In a smaller bag, um, I usually carry a smaller card holder uh, size wallets. I have my sunglasses. I have my 13 inch MacBook Pro, uh, but I used to carry my 15 inch MacBook Pro for that I had for work uh, in here and that fits in here just fine. If you have a bigger laptop, that shouldn't be a problem. And then I have the pochette here. And of course the bag has the pocket here that has a zipper. So you have kind of a, one more compartment where you can stay a little bit more organized. So everything that I just took out of my bag occupies about half of this bag. So you can easily stuff a notebook or a thicker agenda or a water bottle. So this is a really, really good size bag, although it doesn't look that big. So let me show you guys what it looks like uh, on my body frame. I'm a 5'8", I'm about size four to four to six, somewhere in between. 
So this is what it looks like on my body frame. And you can see that the straps have some space between my armpits, so it fits really, really comfortably. Um, even if I don't have it fully stuffed, uh, you can kind of squish it down and carry it like this. And while this doesn't, this bag doesn't have a zipper on top, which I know is a pet peeve for a lot of people because it kind of shows you what's inside the bag. But it, there is a hook here uh, that you can hook on. And honestly, because this is a shoulder bag, if you kind of carry between your arm and your torso, I don't think there's really a security issue. Of course, I wouldn't carry this anywhere uh, that you're concerned about with pickpocketing anything like that and let me talk about the wear and tear of this bag um usually with Louis Vuitton pieces I'm very uh, impressed with their wear and tear I not only own canvas pieces so the coat of canvas usually wears a lot better than leather pieces and just in my opinion but this bag really really impressed me uh, like I said I used to carry my MacBook Pro that was 15 inches in here everything that I just show you guys all in here as well including my lunchbox uh spare shoes cardigans and everything in here i would carry this when it's drizzling uh outside um and i really didn't baby this bag whatsoever and uh, i carried this non-stop for about six months um and even after that i carried it on and off um running errands uh i would fit all my dogs toys food and everything in here and really the only wear that i can tell are the, of course, a patina on the vachetta that had just happens over time. But there's really no visible wear on any of the corners of the canvas. Because you would think, like if you had a leather bag in this shape, it definitely would have some corner wear. But there's really no corner wear that I can tell whatsoever. There might be some rubbing, but I really can't tell any difference. Um, so canvas wear is really important because the lining and the coated canvas here is one piece. So if the, your canvas canvas is damaged, there's no going back. You will have to purchase a new one. So it's really good that the, the canvas is wearing really well. And since I carried so much weight in here, you can kind of tell that there is some wrinkling on the strap. Let's see, yeah, there is some wrinkling on the strap here, but as you can see, it's not really that bad. There's some wear on the main parts of the strap as well. You can see that's kind of worn. Yeah. yeah, a little bit worn on top of the strap. And the corner is a little bit darker than some other spots of the trim. More on the base of the strap. Yep, yeah, but as you can see, it's really nothing bad going on in terms of wear and tear. I really think I can wear this bag for five more years before I even think about uh, replacing the strap and the trim, which can be costly. Uh, I have worn this bag cinched, cinched in like this before. A lot of people don't tend to do this for MN because the size is relatively small compared to the GM size. Um, I know that a lot of people wear the GM size cinched in because it's a lot bigger than the MN. The only time I would cinch this in is when it rains um, and I don't have a whole lot of stuff in the bag. Um, I just want to protect the trims a little bit better. So that's why I cinch it in like this. So it's a whole different new look. It's more like a slim tilt, but it still fits very comfortable on your shoulders if you decide to carry it like this. Um, that also helps with the security issue because it makes the opening a whole lot smaller so i don't use an organizer for this bag and i just don't think it's necessary because it's supposed to be a carry-all i find it more fussy if i were to have an organizer but i do have a plastic piece in the bottom so it's really dirty <laughs> a plastic piece in the bottom that helps with the sag so when i take it out doesn't really have any sag going on in the bottom and I just did not want that to happen with this piece. So I purchased this for, I believe like $10 off of eBay. Um, I will link it down below if I can find something similar. I'm sure I can um, in the description box. So a complaint that a lot of people have about this bag is that they are everywhere. They are very, very common. If you go to a more of a popular uh, spot in the streets or in the mall, you see this bag everywhere. And I really think 
there's a reason for that that so many people love this bag is because it's such a classic piece it will never go out of style it doesn't really bother me that they are everywhere it just means that it's a great bag that's loved by so many people so that doesn't really bother me and it's just a proof that so many people fell in love with this bag for a reason and uh, if you are thinking about buying this bag, I would highly recommend that you do so um, because Louis Vuitton is going to now limit the production of canvas pieces because the market is oversaturated with them, which I highly disagree. But that's the route that they're taking, so it's going to be more and more limited moving forward. Um, so I would go ahead and purchase this bag. I'm pretty sure that you will really enjoy using this as much as I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's it for my Neverfull MM review. Um, I feel like I talked really quickly. So if you guys have any questions about uh, this bag specifically, uh, please feel free to ask questions in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!